Hello, hello, this is Chris. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my manual bed leveling. It's kind of like I take on the four corner process plus five more steps. So I guess it's a nine step process. Not including me telling you to go over here, ignore the no, thumb into error because, you know, it's a freshly clean machine and I don't have it together. I have the bottom tubes removed just so they're not in the way when I set the camera over here. Go ahead, go into your printer, prepare, go down to preheat PLA, and give it option to preheat just the end, hot end, just the bed, or up here is both, so click on both, that will automatically set it to whatever it has preset, which right now is just going to change it from 195 to 200 and whatever whatever but really I normally print at 195 35 which still the extra five degrees on the nozzle I don't think it's gonna make that much difference but either way I'll just put it down so then everything is leveled at the exact temperatures that I print at so from there you're gonna want to go auto home camera down for a second here. It'll automatically home to the very far corner. Now everything is hot, so watch your fingers. You guys go over here, and you're going to use the level corner setting. That's going to cause it to raise up and move over to just above the screw. Oops, sorry about that, guys. That was rubber legs. Okay, now I'm taking a piece of paper. I use this kind of, I don't know, it's, I guess, thick printer paper. Right, it measures exactly 0.18 millimeters thick. I find that one millimeter is too close, two millimeters is too far, so somewhere in the middle. I use this paper that measures at 0.18, so when I ram it underneath here and actually get the spring nice and tight on it and you know get some resistance going, it's probably going to crush it a tiny little bit. You need to be closer to 0.15, which is right in the middle between two and one. So. If you can't get your no your paper under the nozzle, then you need to adjust your screws under here so that it lets you under. Go to each corner until you just feel a little bit of resistance on the card. We got some there. Hit the button. It'll automatically move to the next corner. Go down. Paper goes back under. Slight drag. Feels exactly like the other side already. Oops, I'm gonna wait for it. Now it's in the far corner. That's got a little bit more than the other two, so I'll back it up to you a little bit more. Next corner, it'll come over to the far one. You can do the, all this without this and run it by hand, right? So, okay, same thing. Now all four of these, to me, are the same. You can keep going over and over again. Just for... Just for quick reference, here we go. Let's go around one. Oh, see, now that one, because I changed the one over there. Change just a little bit wide, just a little bit more drag to it. Next. Every time you adjust one here, it's going to throw the other three off, so that's why you have to go around multiple times over and over and over again. And check this corner again. And then from here, what I do is I actually just like ignore the screen because, believe it or not, right now the steppers get shut off after every time that you push that button. So, now, what I'll do is I'll actually move in towards, closer towards where I'm going to be printing and do another small circle or square inside of this. Is it the same? Hmm. See? Because my glass or mirror that I'm using or the bed is never perfectly flat, it's actually just a tiny bit tighter in the center here. I know that. That's why I set my outer ones here a little bit looser, right, than the inside. So, I'll go like that, move it forward a tiny bit like that see now it's like super loose and I can get it right under so the fact that it's okay out here but 
terrible there tells me that I'd rather sit here and go like this, adjust this until I feel some drag on here now. Just a slight bit. Seems weird, but I'm doing it. See? Perfect drag over here again. Same. Oh, that's just a tiny bit light. So add a little bit to it. You don't want just a little bit drag. Too much squish and it gets too hard for the extruder to extrude it. Not enough squish and your first layer is crap. Now that one's really stiff. So we'll back that one off. Just a tiny bit. Now I'll keep going again. Square. Square. Square inside of my other one. And then finally the center. Now the center is perfect. See? Just a slight, as you can hear, just a slight drag. Now for me, I get perfect prints every time I'm doing this. It may seem like a lot of effort, but hey, once you get it down pat, it's nothing to, you know, boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Go around to all four corners and check the center. It takes me maybe 30 seconds a minute to do it, you know, between prints or between every couple of prints, depending on how picky I want to be and if I want, like, great results every time. But, hey, that's my technique. And then from there, I just use some glue stick and prep your bed however you want, but it, that depends on your surface. But overall, it doesn't matter what surface you use, this bed leveling technique is pretty decent. Don't always just go by the four corners. Because as soon as you go by the four corners and check the center, it might not always be the same. That, but that again, that depends on your bed surface. So, hey, try it, use it. If you don't like it, and it don't work for you, let me know. If it does work, it makes it easier for you. But then right on, also let me know. Alright, appreciate it guys. Thanks.